Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Well, if you're an empath um, such as myself, life can be, I mean, it's wonderful and it's amazing because you really get to feel things and experience things, not just for yourself, but through the eyes of others. But it can also be extremely exhausting because being an empath is a bit like being a human sponge where you pick up on everything that's going on around you. And unfortunately, our schools and things aren't designed to teach people the skills of how to be an empath. In fact, there's not really that much out there to support people um, who <laughs> are like human sponges. And I mean, I know through my childhood, there's things that I've picked up that I thought were mine, but actually now as an adult and knowing what I am, looking back, I realised I had nothing to do with me at all. And I was simply just absorbing um, what was going on for others around me. Um, it's also been brought to my attention as well that um, like my mother had an operation quite a few years ago now. And I went to her and was trying to help her and look after her. And I realised that it was after she'd had the sedative um, that they gave her before the operation. And I realised while I was doing some healing on her that I absorbed, I don't know, the toxins from her body because I felt physically sick after I'd been doing it. And I've kind of often wondered, how do I sort of, I suppose, protect myself? But I'm also aware that protecting myself creates blockages and resistance to life. So I've always known that that isn't the right answer. But I haven't really known what the answer was until <laughs> this lovely lady, Lisa Linda, who I actually do another podcast with called Enlightenment Dialogues. We had a discussion or a chat, it was actually around the podcast on Thursday. We happened to just be talking about empaths and some an experience that I'd had recently, um, again, to do with hospitals and picking up on negative energy. And I said to her that for me, it sensed like I was absorbing what was going on around me. And it was really interesting because I, I couldn't find the words and I hadn't actually sat down and thought about it in depth until we started having the conversation. But it felt to me like um, when I went in there, I absorbed all the negativity. And while I was absorbing the negativity, and I could feel it because when I left, I felt quite drained and exhausted. I thought to myself, next time I come in, what I must do is I must connect to all that is and try and fill myself full of light. And it was quite interesting in the discussion that Lisa and I had, she shared something with me that I was unaware of. And she shared that you can actually focus your absorption powers. So we can either be at the mercy of everything that is around us and simply absorb whatever we're with, um, whether be it positive or negative, or we can choose to focus on a particular thing. And source is the obvious choice because the more that we focus on source and absorb light and love, the more that we're able to reflect that out into the world that we're living in. And I just, I mean, it's something that somehow I knew, but I hadn't really formulated into an idea or a thought, and certainly not into a practice. And it's just something I thought I'd share because I know that a lot of people that I'm connected to are empaths as well. And I thought it's maybe something that you might be struggling with <laughs> because um, it can be quite draining, especially in public situations. I know, for instance, that I can't stand going to malls or massive supermarkets or anywhere where there are lots and lots and lots of people because it absolutely depletes my energy. But now that I consciously am aware about connecting to source and light, then I'm quite curious to play with this. So maybe I'll do another podcast on this at a later date and share what I've learned about it um, as I go along and I play with it. But intuitively, I know, I feel that this is actually the answer to a lot of the struggles I've had as an empath. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, the links to our other podcast and to Lisa Linda's information and all of that are down below in the show notes. Um, if you want to contact me for coaching or to find out more about my online courses, please feel free to drop me a message. My social media links are below in the show notes, as well as my website and all the information that you'll need as on either of those. So much love from me to you and have a fabulous week. See you next week. Bye bye.